Hello YouTubers. Right, today Dell XPS M1730 laptop and it's telling me basically please connect a Dell power supply. Um, it's not working. Now, I have a Dell power supply. As we can see, proper Dell power supply. Uh, the big one, not the little one. And it's the lights on. Um, I tested the volts coming out the back of the power supply, and the voltage is right. So I know the power supply is working. Um, then I've wiggled the wire, and it seemed to kind of work. So, what I'm guessing, but I don't know, it's either the cable between the power supply and this end or there could be a problem with the plug inside there so um yeah bit of a nightmare first thing i'm going to do it's the easiest bit is i'm going to check this wire or should i say this end sorry because obviously i don't have to strip anything out it's a lot easier to get to that than the motherboard so we look inside that baby now obviously the first thing you need to do is unplug your power supply. Now just also be aware of, I'm presuming there's going to be kind of big cap uh, caps, capacitors in here. So they're still going to hold a bit of charge. Um, so the easiest thing to do is just unplug it and plug it back into your computer unplugged and that should uh, take away all the power of the capacitors. Now I'm going to kind of guess at this um i don't know but with me wiggling the wire and it kind of working i'm guessing there's a loose connection somewhere whether it's in the motherboard or whether it's in this cable i don't know but like i said the first thing to do is this is the easiest thing to do so i'm just going to this is molded um there's like a little line here so i'm just going to get a sharp knife and just cut along this line as carefully as i can without ripping myself to bits It's actually quite um, soft rubber, which is good. Yeah. Came off a lot easier than I thought, actually. Now, to be fair to it, it doesn't particularly look bad, but I'll take this gunk off. Just to see if there's anything, because maybe one of these wires um, could be loose, and this gunk is kind of holding it on, so so it looks like it's it's held on where not necessarily it is. So again, you have to be careful here. looking that promising this all looks good by the point of film is I'm just going to carefully take all this off when I get it off I'll turn the camera back on now YouTubers as you can see I've got it open hopefully you can see but anyway we've got three cables obviously we've got an earth we've got a power and we've got a data cable right in the middle it's red and the only reason I know that is because I've took the power supply apart and on the red cable it actually says data. You can't see it, but it's under there. Now, I've tested the continuity between all three wires, which I maybe should have done first rather than taking this off, but anyway. Um, I'm getting, it's okay for the earth and it's okay for the power, but for the middle pin, which looks like this red wire, which is the data wire, there's no continuity. So, I'm guessing it's split somewhere between the cable. That's going to be very difficult to try and find. Um, 
and there's no point splitting the whole cable all the way back because that's just going to be a nightmare so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um i might just put a little jumper cable from here to here just a short cable stick it back in the computer to see if it works if it works and i've got a problem with that cable and then i can do kind of a permanent job so that's the plan next um like i said it's just a short jumper cable from where my finger is and you're not gonna be able to really see it but there's a little blob just there that's where the data cable goes that's what it says on the back anyway it's a red cable and um yeah i'm just gonna put a little jumper across plug it back in and see fingers crossed i don't really want to buy a new power supply because they're bloody expensive well youtubers i was just preparing to uh solder this jumper cable onto it to test to see if that was the case and as i was just cleaning away to find i can show you this now to find this red cable and just to give it a bit of space as i was pulling it kept pulling and it's just literally pulled off so i'm just going to strip this back to there and hopefully find this cable and reattach it and i think fingers crossed that's it so yeah i didn't really want to strip it back but um i'm going to now and i'm lucky that it should be a bit of wire sticking out of here enough for me to solder something on so i'm going to strip that back and hopefully we've fixed it now youtubers i'm kind of halfway through it looks a bit like frankenstein's monster i know um but basically um yeah he's not called frankenstein because frankenstein's the guy that made him so he's frankenstein's monster right anyway um i couldn't get the wires obviously snapped too close to here so i couldn't find it which is a bit of a bummer so unfortunately what i did was i just literally cut back down here so i, I cut this off and i exposed the wire in here and i've just put this back and what i've done is i've just soldered a wire i've heat shrink both ends of it and i'm just going to put it all back now what you have to be careful of there's a, there's an awful lot of shield in here and obviously you want to try and get that back as best you can because it could be some sort of interference so basically as you can see i've heat shrink that end i've heat shrink that end. i'm, I'm literally going to tape on the outside now i'm hoping this is going to work i'm still not 100 percent but um this wire is broke anyway so it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing so i'm just going to try and hopefully get this back nice and neat um with a lot of care and literally just um tape it all back together nice and neat and it shouldn't really be that noticeable as such so yeah i'm gonna get it all nice and neat turn the camera back on now youtubers as you can see i've literally taped up both ends this is the wire I'm, I'm still going to tape up this but i just want to do a bit of testing first obviously the first thing i want to do is plug this in without plugging it into the laptop just to i'm going to double check the voltage just to make sure nothing blows up nothing happens because the last thing you want to do is plug this into your laptop and it blows your motherboard because something somewhere has happened um so that's what i'm going to try next now youtube we still have a problem when i tried to test the continuity of this data cable as you can hear nothing's happening it's supposed to be beeping but what i did do typical it won't do it now we have continuity i lift the wire up we don't hopefully you can see that i'll do that here now now have continuity lift the wire up we don't have it right so we have another break in the wire um so what i'm going to do just to save time because this is going to get very messy i'm just going to literally directly put a new cable from here join up to to the cable i've already done that's what i'm going to do and just put a fresh cable in um because there's no point in putting another jumper here just be too messy so i'm going to do that and then uh we'll see what happens now 
hope you can see this I've cut a little notch out the plastic and I've actually soldered this wire directly onto the board so I've taken the old wire away which is important and I've soldered this new wire on and I've literally it's going all the way through the cable obviously I've, I've just got to tape it onto the cable and I've connected it to the end that I originally did in the first place which is then connected to here so before I tape all this up I'm just gonna again double check I'm gonna go through to make sure the voltage is okay before I plug it in then plug it into the laptop then see what happens and this time let's hope it works now youtubers it's working um, now if you're hearing that noise I've obviously got extra fans underneath um, just to cool it down because obviously these things are a bit of a beast but anyway look it's working um it's charging like it's supposed to be doing hopefully that's gonna um now one thing that did do just before it decided not to work it said plugged in but not charging um but as we can see now it's completely working fine now what i'm guessing is that cable is obviously something to do with dell it could be like a to stop using uh, spurious parts you have to use genuine dell parts um but anyway that saved me over 100 quid so i'm well happy it's working good stuff hope this helps don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one